My history is I started nursing as a hospital trained nurse at 17 and worked at Sydney Hospital and then went overseas and worked in the emergency department in a third world country for two years. I worked at the Melanoma Research Unit in Sydney for a couple of years as a research person. I went and did um, psychiatric nursing and then I left nursing for nine years and became a pharmaceutical rep and then back to nursing because I found that not satisfying enough and started doing emergency from scratch again. Even though I'd done it in Jamaica in a third world country, it was very different at the Austin Hospital. So your career slowly builds and so you go from a junior to more senior, to clinical nurse specialist. And then I started looking for something else and I started to do um, intensive care work and I did my graduate diploma of critical care. After that, I realised that intensive care nursing wasn't for me. I missed emergency. I like the immediacy of being able to help people. I like the quick turnover of patients. I incorporated obstetric and gynae nursing at the Sunshine Hospital and paediatric. So again, that takes a couple of years to build into that. That's the great thing about nursing is the diversity of it. Um, yeah, don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Go and try a different area. Um, if you've been doing shift work, then maybe change to a Monday to Friday job. Um, you know, you could do research, um, research assistance, um, lab work, hospital in the home. I've actually done those sort of things as well. There's so much diversity in nursing that that's what's kept me, I think, in the profession, even though I was out for nine years. Um, to realise um, and to grow as a person, that each time you succeed in something, you feel more confident. You think, I can take this on. I can try something new. Okay, I succeed in that. Well. OK, I'll put myself in another situation where I can try and, and grow and learn. And so then I've moved on to become the emergency department's nurse practitioner. And that's been huge. And I've been able to draw on all that the diversity that I've done and now to consolidate it, to learn the medical model of care was huge. And it is very satisfying because I have total responsibility for the patients now. Um, to diagnose and to treat, formulate uh, a diagnosis and to refer to specialists. So I've had to learn the medical model of care, but in a nursing framework. And so that's what's been the really interesting thing because we do it so differently. And patients say that to you as well. The doctor never told me this. Or I had never had that explained properly. And I say, well, that's the role of a nurse is to guide and teach and to be your advocate. And that's what I'm doing now. So I don't just fix, fix the fracture and send off to the fracture clinic. I would actually try and suggest some strategies on how, to, how it manages, is how it impacts on their life and give some strategies on that. Um, I educate patients on their medications far more than I think my medical model of care is about. So that, that's our difference. So I don't want to sound like I'm knocking, but. It is quite different model of care and it is extremely satisfying. It's now the pinnacle of my career. There are certain nurses already in my department who have that personality that you know could handle autonomous practice. Autonomous but collaborative practice. It's not for everybody because it's a huge responsibility. Um, so yes, I would say anybody that loves a clinical role that wants to take it as far as it can go. That's the great thing about nurse practitioning. We used to have the, uh, the management role, and so you could go up to director of nursing, CEO, but with us on the clinical side, it used to go clinical nurse specialist and now clinical nurse consultant, and that was it. So now I have the nurse practitioner role in Australia, catching up with 45 years of history from overseas. It is the ultimate in clinical practice because you are actually, um, You've got really positive patient outcomes. You can make a difference in someone's life. You're the one-stop shop for them and you can actually have a continuity of care because they can come back and see you a couple of days later. It's very satisfying when you're having patients who don't have to come back and see you but choose to come back and get a follow-up by the nurse practitioner myself or my colleague Ian because there's another fellow in the hospital, Ian Law, as well. Yeah, He's paediatric and I'm adult. So I think I have... I feel very empowered, I'm very proud of that particular role and it's a great confidence builder. And my next step then will be now to mentor others, to try and get others into the role and get support from the hospitals financially to do that. That's going to be the next issue.